And these are gonna go right below where the waterfall spills in. Today's the day. We're gonna fill in a bunch of rock right on top of this landscape fabric. piece on the left comes down it goes underneath this this is overlapping this piece by about six inches and then these pieces are overlapping the end piece by about six inches now to just try to stay off the fabric we're working our way back and and just pulling the rock back with it the rest of the layout. Okay, so this is gonna be a little shallow flat. This will be in about two, two and a half feet. We put landscape fabric down to help stop the weeds from growing up here in the shallow, in the shallow section to keep a, a clean rocky substrate. This is the pride and joy. This rocky flat, we've probably built a uh, maybe 400 square foot rocky section. These three to six inch rocks are gonna sit right at the base of this future waterfall. And so water's gonna be running down here. It's gonna dip down to two to three feet all along this flat. And we'll put some we'll put some larger boulders sprinkle those in every once in a while in here to create a little diversity water's going to be moving over here over these rocks and this is going to be where fish gather in the springtime and uh it's gonna be a super unique feature of this pond trying to create different 
transition substrates from rock to vegetation to clay. We've got this larger rock here, clay, and then we've got a spawning bed of pea gravel up here in the quieter in the quieter bay. This is where all of the, the bluegills and crappies and bass and perch going to create a border on this today. Just putting a two by six treated border around the pea gravel bed to contain all of the gravel. Some harder ground mm -hmm. right here. You hitting a rock? How does that look? I raked the trap. It's probably not a consistent four. Well, it's probably a consistent four to six inches everywhere. It's at, le it's at least a 400 square foot pea gravel spawning bed up here in this back shallow north bay. The sun's gonna hit that earlier in the spring. Water's gonna warm up the fastest up in here. Fish are gonna flock to it. Come springtime, this is the incubation. A little nick you, if you will. Guys, I made these earlier this summer, or spring maybe even, and here was my plan. I'll show you how I did that. I got one other one over here. I actually quite like it. Um, Check out the video up above for how I made these. It's kind of tedious, but what I was planning was just to hollow out a little, a little spot in the pea gravel bed. Get these leaves out of here. The storm's coming in. Wasn't expecting rain tonight. Tomorrow, about an inch, but, um, and then just Trouble to cover that. that. All of that gravel right in there. And uh, that's going to be something fun. Yeah. Okay. Got the pea gravel bed in. I'll show you the, the big picture view. Yeah, that looks great. I'll throw another few rocks in there just for, for fun. But I think we're ready for springtime. The oak trees are turning brownish red. <laughs> 